Hello you guys. Hello you guys. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be showing you guys a video of how I remove these press-on nails right here. If you guys could see that they are pretty on there, really, really, really good. Um, and they are not coming off. So if you guys would like to see how I remove these nails, go ahead and stay tuned. Okay, so some of the, or one of the things you are going to need is a bowl. I have this one right here. Um, you are going to, I prefer to do it in a glass bowl. So anything that has to do with nails, I like to have it in glass just because it's easy to sanitize and whatnot. Um, and then, then the next thing that you are going to be needing is a tool like this this um so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what i'm going to be doing this video is going to be a little bit different than my usual videos just because you guys usually just see my fingers but in this video i thought i would do kind of a little bit um just do it a little bit different um so let me let me know what you guys think all right so let's go ahead and get started so i have everything set up that i need i ended up Filling up this bowl, um, you can see the water is pretty full in there. You want to fill it and make sure it's not too hot. Um, I ended up putting my bowl in the microwave for a minute, but again, before you put your fingers in there, just go ahead and check. Um, sorry if you guys hear my baby in the background. Um, if you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know that um, I just had a baby. So a lot of times, like when I'm filming, I don't really have um, a time other than the time that John gets home from work. And usually by that time, um, it's very noisy where I live. So I try to get my videos done as soon as I can. Um, and a lot of times that means it's with the baby being here. So yeah. So let's go ahead and get started with this. Um, there are some other things that I had wanted to talk to you guys about. I'm gonna put a little bit of cold water in here actually. Okay, so I there were some things that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, I was starting a business actually and um, so that's where a lot of my time has been going. So I mean for a while I was posting probably like two videos a week up on my nail page and I also had started my own personal page um, with like just vlogs and like pranks and things like that. Um, which that kind of shows like more of the baby and then John and me or whatever, just like, um, some of that stuff. Well, anyways, we ended up, or I ended up deciding that I wanted to start a online business. So that's kind of why I've been so busy lately. Um, and that is why I haven't really been posting as much on here or like doing the two videos a week like how I was doing just because I've been getting busy with my online nail store. So what I'm going to be selling on my nail store is press on nails. So if you guys are someone who likes press on nails, something like this, these would be great for you just because... The reason why I wanted to do this was because I've been starting to, if you guys have followed me again for a while, you guys will know that I started to get eczema really bad on my hands. Like you could kind of see it like flaring up again right there. And um, so I haven't been able to wear nails, but with having press on nails, I'm actually able to wear them. So that with that being said, like, I mean, ever since I've been doing press on nails, I've been a lot... I've been really, really happy with the results and being able to wear them. And then, like, they also feel very, very sturdy. So, um, if you guys are new to, like, wearing press-on nails or if you guys want to have some of my work, you guys will actually be able to do that. Just because I know a couple of you guys had asked if I did do press-on nail stores. And I haven't responded yet um, just because I, it was in the works. So I don't want to say no and then like pop up with a story and be like, oh, hey, you know, like I'm selling press on nails and blah, 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 you know. So I, that's what I'm going to be selling. Eventually, my goal for the store is to be having my own brand on there and doing maybe some gel polishes and maybe some like things that I really enjoy um, using and whatnot. So 
And just because I have some people like asking me where to get really good brushes and I know a lot of people they're kind of confused on where to get some of these things and it's hard because I feel like finding um, someone that you trust that does nails and stuff. Luckily I had my local nail supply where the lady she also did nails so she was really good about picking her product and stuff so and I'm really really excited about that so I hope once you guys see it, I hope you guys will like it I'll do a video on that once it is finally up there's some finishing touches I want to go ahead and do on there but um yeah all right so now that the nails had soaked in here you could also even put um what is it you could also even put cuticle oil in the water and that will also help and it'll moisturize your your nails so next that you want to do is try to go along your nail okay so what you're gonna do is go along the edge of the nail I'm gonna try to focus for you guys but it's not letting me okay so you're gonna take this and slide it underneath the nail and start to lift up a little bit um with soaking your nails it allows it to be a lot easier for them to pop off so you see that this one it took off really easy if there's things that you would like to see on my nail page go ahead and comment down below what are things that you would like to see as far as design wise or maybe even things that you would like to see in store so and i would also like to be able to get you guys things that you guys would really really like all right you guys so these are finally all off it didn't take me no more than 10 minutes or no actually we are still under eight minutes this nail um you guys could kind of see right here it does have a little bit of glue on there but you could always take the cuticle push her in push that glue off and your nails are good as new if you guys have to you guys could buff but as you can see that this did no damage at all to my nails it's not like how acrylics are i feel like if you were to take off your nails um like if you were to rip them off with acrylics the outcome of this would not be the same you would end up having like you could actually see where it tore off do another video on how i had prepped my nails for these just because i know a lot of you guys don't know how to put on press on nails so another thing that i would recommend doing for press on nails is if you guys since these are reusable you guys will be able to be if, if you take care of them you will be able to reuse them so with that being said um like you guys know that once you guys use tips there is going to be a little bit of glue under there but if you get a really um cheap affordable e-file you could go ahead and do that or if you get an arbor band and glue it onto um like a pencil or something you could like etch it out of there it might not be as perfect as if you were to get uh, a cheaper e-file so i would recommend getting an e-file especially if you are just going to be wearing the press on nails just because it'll save you money just because you'll be able to apply this set over and over as soon as they grow out you could go ahead and soak them take them off and then reapply them um and say if you you know someone that they work in like the nursing field and stuff and they just want their nails done for a weekend they could go ahead and get these and put them on for a weekend and then after soak them in water and cuticle oil and then just pop them right off and you see you guys that like they did not damage my nails at all so i feel like that's really really good especially with me because um i since i am the one modeling them and everything for my nail page um i don't want my nails to be all jacked up just because you guys see them a lot of the times in the videos and stuff you see what they look like and i don't want them to be all like nasty and like all broken and like just in bad shape so um this was another set that i had did these ones are shorter so if you guys are looking something for something shorter go ahead and these ones you could go ahead and check these ones out these ones are way shorter than these ones these ones are a lot longer um so you guys could actually see how long that is 
versus these ones. These ones are one of the smaller set. These are the sh short oval. And then these are the long coffin. So I'll go ahead and put that out for you guys. Um, so yeah, um, once I have the online store and stuff, I'll go ahead and post that for you guys. But yeah, so this is how you take off press on nails which was super simple, super, super easy. So if you guys um, do end up purchasing them, this is how you take them off. And if you guys want me to go more in depth and do a video of how I prep the back of them again, just so I could keep them nice for future use, go ahead and comment down below and I'll do a video also on that for you guys. Um, let me know what you guys want to see, even if it doesn't have to do with the press on nails at all um yeah if it just has to do with designs or whatnot go ahead and comment down below um so yeah so i hope you guys really enjoyed this video um don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel and as usual i'll be back with more videos bye